cool. I'm gonna try something I've never tried before. I'm going to try recording a Zoom session by myself and I'm going to open up some new records I got. So here we go. So the other day I decided to buy a handful of records. Um, I opened up one of them and I was super excited about it. So anyways, let's see what we got here. All right. So I'll show you the one that obviously I'm most excited about because this is the one that I opened up. But it's Ghostbusters. It's the uh, the original score from the movie. Um, so if you don't know what that means, that means it's the the background music throughout the whole movie. But Here's the back of it. Kind of cute, all right. Um, here's the inside of it. Um, let's open it up. Here we go. Ghostbusters. Kind of flare. Here's my favorite part. I love vinyls that aren't just your traditional, um, you know, black vinyls. So check this out. This is clear with a little bit of slime. It looks like green slime it's supposed to be in the middle. I'm excited to see how this thing spins. Um, but yeah, those busters. Uh, two uh, two discs, A, A, um, A, B, C, D, and uh, the other one looks exactly like the first one. They're cleaning the streets here. You can probably hear that. Um. <laughs> I love this. What a great shot. He just, accurate. he just looks so tough right there, doesn't he? Look how tough he looks and right here. Anyways, the original score. Um, yeah, so I got that. Then of course, I got the soundtrack as well, which you have to get the soundtrack. So let's open this up. And I, I don't really leave the Saran Wrap on these because I was told one time that the Saran Wrap could hurt it, the album because the Saran Wrap would shrink and it would make the, it could warp the album essentially. Uh, so here's the, the soundtrack, here's the back of it. Light. Here's the back of it. Uh, nothing too fancy about this one. Um, it's your basic record. But uh, my friend uh, Matt Bacon actually inspired me to get that this one. And then when I was looking for this one, I saw the first one I showed you, the score. So those are the Ghostbuster ones I got. Um, I suppose we'll keep it in the movie family because I bought another soundtrack that this soundtrack I listened to a lot when I was a kid, the Batman Forever soundtrack. Yeah. Let's open it up. See how this goes. Sometimes you gotta use a guitar pick to open these up, you know. Works pretty well. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, it has a nice glossy feel to it. Here's the back. Obviously, the scene when Batman runs into the Riddler. Sweet. Some cool artwork in, in the inside of it there. Um, Cool, 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 cool. Wow, what do we have? Um, something like that, yeah. Shows the songs and who wrote them. And there's uh, everyone's favorite Batmobile, right? Record Batman forever. You know, 
black. It's cool though. I dig it. Um, I like the cover, uh, the, ca the little paper it came in. Normally they're just standard white, but this was black. Just a little bit different with a little haze uh, film in the, in the middle of it, which is cool. Um, again, this is a two disc ABCD sides. And um, yeah, probably have to put that one on later. Oops. You never want to put your records on like that because then they fall out when you move them. So those are the soundtracks I bought, Ghostbusters, uh, the original score, Ghostbusters soundtrack, and then um, Batman Forever soundtrack. Okay, now, uh, let's get a little bit heavier here. I bought Korn's first album on uh, vinyl. Um, very, uh, very emotional album, very, very dark album, um, but obviously I, I love this album a lot. Um, I like how this was packaged, because just open it up right there. No saran wrap to unfold or tear up, but uh, yeah, no, this one doesn't open like the others did. Um, you do get like a little insert, which is pretty cool. Um, kind of reminds me of what the, the CD insert was back in the day, yeah. So, here we go. Thank yous. There's the band. Let's see what this record looks like. It's pretty. It's pretty standard, but that's okay. Again, I'm cool with that. Yeah, it's just it's a black one, but uh, and two records. I've definitely been getting into vinyls more and more. It's just another way, obviously, to listen to music, and it forces me to listen to, you know, not, not be able to just click next track, next track, like you do on, you know, Spotify or iTunes and in the digital world that we live in, or even with CDs. I mean, you could, you could go to the next track anytime you wanted to, but this kind of gives you a, a way, another way to listen to music in it has a, a certain sound to it. All right, that completely just ripped, so that's trash. I'll put that down there. A couple more here. Um, I bought a couple Incubus albums. Here's Incubus Make Yourself. I have more in view already. I also bought Incubus Science. Um, this one might be a blue album. We'll find out here in a little bit. Let's open up the... Uh, the Make Yourself album, which was Incubus's album that got me into them back in 2000, whatever. Cool. Does this one open up? Yes, it does. I love when they open up with a book. That's great. There we go. Cool. Incubus. 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 So just a standard black vinyl, which that's cool. Um, sometimes you have to pay more to get the, the special ones. Uh, 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 any inserts or anything in this? No inserts, no. Just the inside there, which is cool because it does have all the lyrics in there, which is pretty cool. Um, all the lyrics and whatnot. Science, Incubus. Incubus. I really hope it's blue. Come on, baby. No, I didn't get it. Damn. I didn't get the special edition, just the regular. Just the regular one, but that's all right. I didn't really feel like paying more money for the, the blue one. I didn't know if it was the blue one or not. I kind of took a gamble on there. Anyways, um, there's the inside of it. Look at those guys, super young. Wonder how much the blue uh, special edition one was. I mean, really, at the end of the day, right? It's not about 
what the album looks like. It's about the music, right? This one's more difficult to get back in there. I got one more, and then this will be done with my little video. Uh, my, dang it. This one. Just screwing that one up. There we go. Boom. Thank you, Mr. Science. And last but not least, uh, Allison Chains. Unplugged. Uh, love Allison Chains. Another nice gloss finish, much like the corn one I showed you. Must be the same distributor. Uh, this one doesn't open up uh, like the corn one did. Didn't I either? Uh, and there's no insert on this one, which is a bummer, but just your basic black album again, but there you go. Alice in Chains Unplugged. Probably be putting this one on today. I'm definitely feeling that today. It's uh, going to start raining here soon. That's it. Those are the new albums I got. <laughs> so um, thanks for watching. See you later.